Okay, here we go. The second tombstone versus Red Baron comparison. Okay, tombstone. 23 ounces, exactly. Red Baron, not quite 22. It's like 21.77. Okay, now for my major gripe. Tombstone Peach is a little bigger, but if you look, you can see the Tombstone Peach would fit in the, the Red Baron box with no problem. And the thing I like about Tombstones is a little cardboard backing is perfect to cut peaches. Red Baron already know doesn't have one. Let's see. 18 to 20 minutes, we'll say 22. I already know this is like 22 as well. No problem. I mean, the box looks real pretty, don't get me wrong, but I don't buy pizza for a pretty box. And I've had the tombstone longer, I'm going to eat it first. Okay, I've got it out. I've got the tombstone out the package. And unfortunately they had all the pepperoni kind of clustered. So I had to, I had to fix that. Just pulled it out the oven. Haven't cut it or anything. Look how good that looks. I just wish you could smell it. It smells better than it looks, and I know it's going to taste good. As you can see, the the pepperoni is just starting to brown a little bit, which makes it even better. Yummy. All right, time to cook the red baron. The, the oven is already heated up. <clears throat> There's the box. Okay. pizza out of the wrapper and I've done and I've done arrange the pepperoni the way I want that way every slice gets a gets a piece of pepperoni on it. Looks better that way anyway. Okay there's the pizza out of the oven. Look how good that looks. Yeah, one little thing. The tombstones, I got them for about three something. But this Red Baron, I had to go to a different store to get this particular one. Due to the, the weather, weather problems. And it was four dollars. It wasn't right at three, it was four. And it was a buck fifty saved for a Albertson special in other words. I don't shop at Albertsons very often, but to get this peach I had to go there. Yeah. The usual tombstone wrap that I buy is between three, three and a half. This thing was four dollars and it was a buck and a half off. 